Andrea and welcome to my channel Beyond the Pink Door. So it's Sunday morning. I hadn't actually planned to do a video but this morning I was going through some of my fabrics and some of my recent makes and I actually got quite excited because I can see that I have the beginnings of a cohesive wardrobe coming together. Now this has taken almost a year of sewing bits and pieces, enjoying different makes and all of a sudden I seem to have a bit of a wardrobe coming together. So this is my latest Valerie and I absolutely love, love, love this fabric. I got this last year from Minerva and I made a top and I made an Ina Lee Portobello trousers, which I absolutely loved. So I got another few meters this year when I saw it back up online. And this is, this is the beginning of this little module. Uh, never thought I'd be using that word um, because I am, I'm not a very smart dresser, as in I don't have to dress very smart for work. I'm a jeans and top person, but I really want to start looking that little bit smarter and just feeling that little bit smarter because I work from home. Sometimes I don't see anybody for days on end, uh, but I still like to dress up a little bit as well. So I have my Valerie. I have my these are the trousers. I'll stick in a little picture of them there. I made a little top with them last summer so that I ended up with uh, the the look of like a faux jumpsuit and I really like the two of them together. So I'm going to use these as the basis for this little capsule. So yeah, these are these are the trousers and I made a little top with little um, frilly type sleeves. So these are lovely. And I have a skirt cut out. So I did a little looking through my wardrobe over the last couple of days. Um, I'm not going to bore you with a wardrobe video that would just be far too painful. But what I have to do is make a few little bits to bring these together some way. So I got this fabulous fabric from Quilt Yarn Stitch. This is, look at this, it's like a corally orange beautiful jersey it's in this fabric and I'm going to make a style arc top uh, I'll stick in a little picture I can't remember the name of it but it's got a knot at the front and I'm going to make the version with the long sleeves so this is going to be worn with the trousers and the skirt and um, I also have this little top that I'm wearing this is a little ready to wear top I am looking for this like eyelet fabric, um, my mother used to call it broad triangle. I I would love to find some of this fabric because I would love to make another little top. Love the little frilly. This is just such a me top. So this is going to be another to wear with the trousers and the skirt. And then I bought these other two lovely uh, fluffy jerseys that I'm going to make two cardigans with. And I'll show you them here. This. So this is going to be, I think this is going to be the Pattern Scout Lulu cardigan. I'm going to make the one with the little frill and a peplum. I'll stick up a little picture of that as well. I love it. I made it last year in a scuba with a zip. I haven't worn it an awful lot because I was just trying out the pattern on a bit of leftover scuba, but it fits really, really nicely. So I think this is going to be a lovely little cardigan that I can wear over the dress over the trousers with the white top, over the skirt with the white top again. And I bought another beautiful fabric. Didn't really, really plan this one to go with this uh, capsule, but I think it's going to work. It's like a little pinky color. I think when this is made, I'll know whether it works or not. But at the moment, just looking at it all, it seems to be working. This is going to be a Charlotte cardigan from the company called Jally. Um, I'll stick a little picture. I'll put descriptions and links to all of these that I'm talking about anyway in the description box. So the Charlotte cardigan is quite a basic little cardigan. I think I'm going to do a little poppers down the front because I haven't poppers, poppers, I, I don't know. I'm going to try them out. Um, I have some metal ones here and I 
I think I might, I might try them out. I'll try them out in the scrap first because I haven't actually done them for years. So I have two little cardigans and I think these are going to just glue the whole thing together. I do have another little pink, or uh, not sorry, pink, yellow jersey top that I made last year as well that goes lovely with the trousers. So that'll go with the skirt. So this is going to be a little capsule that'll bring me from spring definitely into summer. I'm absolutely dying to make this top because I've been dying to make the little knot thing at the front for ages so I got the starlight pattern dying to make that and then I got terribly excited this morning because I had all of these laid out and thought yeah this is all working the colors are gorgeous together can't wait to get into this when I realized that I have these other fabrics that I have plans for completely different colorway but they're actually working with these cardigans so I have, let's get these together, I have these fabrics which work with these. So this is a top I cut out uh, quite a long time ago. It's a little frilly sleeve top as well. I got this fabric from Crafty Studio. Uh, this goes really nicely with a little chambray skirt I made, the Nina Lee Camden. You're going to hear me talking about that because I have plans for that as well. So this, I have this fabric I got from Minerva. I've got a top and a dress cut out of that already. I kind of batch cut at times and then I move on to other things, but I always have a little stockpile of things cut out. And then I've shown this in a few of my fabric haul and other videos because it's there, there's plans for it. And now it's actually going so beautifully with these. So this, I had thought about doing the Sally style arc, like jeans um, skirt, but I much prefer the Camden skirt from Nina Lee. I've just, like I've said, I've gone through the wardrobe and I've tried on different things that I wear a lot or don't wear a lot. And I've thought, you know what? There's, look at, if I like it, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So this is going to be a Nina Lee skirt and, Possibly, I have a, a dress and a, I think it's a Nina Lee Park Lane top cut out of this. Um, you can get a heck of a lot out of three metres sometimes. And there's a li little bit left over, so yeah, I, I, they don't quite look like they'll work, but you never know. And then I have two options of cardigans to go over the skirt, so this is going to be lovely. And I think this top is actually going to see an awful lot of light of day to bring all of these ones together as well. And then I picked up this other really lovely, now I'm going off on a slight tangent here, but you'll see how this is going to work together. This is just gorgeous. This is like, um, it's a satiny feeling. I When I first felt it, I thought it was going to be really, really fine and thin, but there's a nice body to it. This is going to be a top. Now I have the Clara, so over Clara top in my head because I think it would be lovely with the little little gathers coming from here. I might slightly puff the sleeves and I have an idea to, because you know, I don't like cuffs or just, I don't mind making cuffs, sewing cuffs. I just actually don't like wearing cuffs. So I'm going to do the sleeve a little bit longer, obviously. And then I'm going to sew a little channel and make like a little frill on the end. And I may frill at the waistband as well. I'm not really one for tucking things in. I prefer things to be out because I just find if I wear something, if I tuck it in, it kind of pulls out anyway with the sort of work I do. So if I have a little elasticated frill, I've seen some really, really lovely ready to wear tops in Dorothy Perkins recently. Um, if I'm able, I'll stick up some pictures here, just looking for a little bit of inspiration. And they have bands on the bottom of them, on the hem with elastic at the back. And I actually think that style suits me more. So yeah got this. Now I know it's not working in what I've just talked about but I have a lovely Nina Lee Camden skirt here that I made last year and they go really lovely together and I'm going to make a black, where's my fabric? Well black is black isn't it? I have this lovely fabric from Quilter and Stitch I got at their sale 
in December, I'm going to make a Nina Lee black Camden skirt. And I think that is going to be just super with this. It's also going to be lovely with um, this top. And then with that, I can wear this tie as well. So we've we've a lot of new and they're all mix they're all mixing and matching. I'm just so excited about all of this. And what else have I got? Oh yes, I've also got, of course, and you've seen this to death as well. I have my two Harper cardigans. I have them here as well. I'm just surrounded by clothes at the moment. I just pulled them all out of the wardrobe. So I have the yellow cardigan that I absolutely love. And again, this yellow cardigan. If I had a pink cardigan, I don't actually think I'd get as much wear out of it. And I have loads of pink. Actually, I've got down all pink, apart from the paley pink in this. But this, the <laughs> black skirt and, God, I'm getting ahead of myself here now. Yellow. This top. And this skirt. This is just great. I feel a little bit, if I feel a little bit more subdued someday, I can go with the top, the, <laughs> oh God, sorry about this. This top, this skirt, and my black cardigan. Actually, there's nothing subdued about that either. So I've got three little collections going on here two intermingle completely different so we have the brighter side we have the more muted side this works in and actually this skirt works with this as well so this and the little top are working so yeah I have a lot of sewing to do I looked at all of this I got really, really excited. And then I got a little bit overwhelmed because I thought, gosh, yeah, I know this is all great, but when am I going to make all of these? How am I going to make all of these? Which one will I start with? Which one am I going to cut out? Which one am I going to make today? And it all started going zzzz. And yeah, does does that does that ever happen to anybody? Um, like I just introduced a new few fabrics into my little collection of clothes. And it's it's just bringing a whole new look into my wardrobe. It's gluing in another fabric that I've been showing and thinking about for so long. And yeah, those three little additions, actually those two cardigans are actually really pulling it all together. But yeah, I had to sit down, make up coffee and go, Andrea, calm the hell down. It's sewing. It's it's not life <laughs> changing. It's not life threatening. Don't be overwhelmed by thinking you have a load of sewing to do. You don't need to do a load of sewing. You want to do a load of sewing. Just calm down and make a plan. So I am not going to sew any of these today. I don't think I am anyway. I'm going to make a pair of pajamas and this is completely random. Tilly and the buttons, Juno pajamas. I'm going to make these because I feel I can sit on my overlocker with my coffee. I can actually calm down from, yeah, that little bit of almost silly anxiety over I have all these clothes to make. No, I don't have all these clothes to make. I'm not in any rush to make any of these clothes. I have a plan for each of my fabrics. I'm going to just do a little cutting out session and a little sewing session together. And yeah, I can't wait to show you these together. So it's Sunday. I'm going to make my pyjamas. I don't actually think they're going to take me too long. An awful lot of my slowness is down to thinking about what I'm going to make, what they're going to match. Are they going to match anything? Because I do at random buy fabrics and I buy a lot of prints. I love, love, love prints, as you know. But I've learned a lovely little lesson in that I bought three planes 
and they're yeah they're they're just bringing it all together and they're absolutely gorgeous fabrics have a look at the quilt yarn stitch website they have a load of really really gorgeous fabrics put up these i'll link them all below anyway but these these for my cardigans have a lovely fluffy side to them so they're going to be really lovely and cozy and my little ready to wear top so if anybody has seen eyelet broderie angle fabric anywhere just add it to the comments if you don't mind because i would love to make a little top this one isn't as white as i'd like it um i don't know was it ever white white but i'd love a white white top to go with to go with these yeah so I hope that everybody has a lovely Sunday. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. I plan on doing, as you can see, a lot of sewing this week. I'm staying indoors. I'm staying away from people. And um, yeah, happy Sunday. And thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.